happy day to all today we are going to see icc questions previous year the net exam so the first question let's go to the first question select the true statement about an operating system so first of all we have to know what is an operating system so operating system the first core is hardware okay the machine part inside the machine that is called as an hardware and the next part is called as an os and the next one is called as a user v we are clicking the mouse and we are opening the windows that and all so os is an interface between this user and hardware operating system is an interface between the user and the hardware it performs the various operations like peripheral devices it manages the memory and processor time and everything here there are so many options given we have to find out which is the exact one <clears throat> the first one an os controls peripherals allocates memory and organize data into fields and records no it maintains the peripherals and it allocates the memory but it is not converting the data into fields and records so that is an uh, another part another uh, uh, another software is doing the fields and records so this is an wrong the next one an os provides protection against against viruses and controls peripherals it controls the peripherals but it is not protection against viruses only antivirus software is provide the uh, protection against viruses so next one and os controls peripheral and allocates memory and processor time so it controls the peripheral and it allocates the memory and processor time and the next one and os control the processor and peripherals and allow the user to connect to the internet so it controls the processor and peripherals but it is not helpful for if the os is present you cannot connect to the internet if you have an wifi connection then only we can connect to the internet right so option 4 also won't come so option 3 is the correct one and os controls peripherals and allocates memory and processor time as the correct answer The next one, which of the following is a type of malware intentionally inserted into software system that will set off a malicious function when specified condition are met? So malicious function, mal mal function, malicious function, malware. So that means it is a software which is intentionally created to damage the system. It is nothing but a program which is created intentionally program. created intentionally to damage the system okay that is called as a virus intentionally to damage the system so the mal function which is also called as an virus so there are many types of viruses in computer worm trojan horse spyware logic bomb so everything is uh, coming under viruses so first of all we have to know what is worm worm is a self replicating program self replicating program remember that self replicating self replicating means if there is they will they will write they will write a small program to damage a letter a okay so if you are writing a code to damage a then wherever a is present okay so everything will be demolished sometimes if you are opening a document the letters and all will be uh, in a damaged it will be look like in a damage right because of this worm software because that is self replicating i am writing a code for a simple sim single letter but it damage wherever a is present it is totally damaged in a same way okay so such kind of virus is called as worm and the next one is trojan horse trojan horse it won't affect immediately but it will present it whenever the user action if they if the user is doing some action at that time the trojan horse will execute for example email attachment okay email attachment or or some installation process so if you are installing anything uh, which is unnecessary at that time trojan horse is work out then spyware spyware is they are loggers log key loggers okay so who is logged okay okay if i typed something so it will be uh, a spy will uh, focus what i what that the key i i typed 
so that kind of uh, malfunction that kind of virus is called as a spyware and the next one is logic bomb so this is a logic bomb virus when it is activated when specific condition met okay here logically means some condition if rain comes you take a number law okay so in the same way logic means if some logic is happen then it will blast so that kind of virus is called as logic bomb logic bomb is a virus this will open when some specific conditions are met okay the next one which of the following statement is true in respect of wireless technology the first one option p bluetooth is a wireless technology which can be used to connect a headset to a mobile phone yes bluetooth is a wireless technology just use it to connect your mobile from one mobile to another mobile or from mobile to your system or from a headset to the mobile phone so option p is the correct one then option q bluetooth is a long range wireless technology and is a low cost mean of data low cost mean of data transfer is a correct okay so you, uh, when you are transferring data via bluetooth it will take only low cost okay that one is true but they, here they are saying that bluetooth is a long range wireless technology no so if there is a long distance we cannot transfer the our data from one mobile to another so long range is a wrong one that is short range short range wireless technology is called as bluetooth so option p only correct so here one is the correct answer the next one which of the following file format is not a video file format which is not a video file format so there are uh, in a, for every file you have some format dot doc for a document file dot xls x uh, spreadsheet file dot uh, ppt okay so there are many file formats which indicates some documents right so similarly for dot uh, avi dot avi indicates audio video interleave audio video interleave that is it consists of audio file and also video so video consists of audio it is called as an avi file and movie file this is dot mov movie file which is highly uh, reliability highly um, highly reliability or highly clarity so that file is called as movie file and mp4 file is also a movie file it contains audio and also video file here they are asking which file is not a video file format the next one is jpg so j this is j p e g a spelling mistake okay j p e g j p e g is a joint photographic expert group format this is called a, it contains only image files it contains whenever you passport or some data so everything every image is saved in a jpg format it contains only image files it contain only image files so option 4 is the correct answer the next one smtp is an acronym for so smtp is an simple mail transfer protocol to transfer a particular mail we need some protocol right that is smtp smtp is a a uh, simple mail transfer protocol protocol is a set of instruction to perform a particular task protocol is a set of instruction to perform a task so in the same way smtp is to transfer a mail from one part to another smtp is simple mail transfer protocol this is the option one is simple mail transport protocol and simple mail transfer protocol this is not a transport protocol okay simple mail terminal protocol no simple mail transition no. simple mail transfer protocol is the correct answer the next one a computer has a main memory of 960k bytes what is the exact number of bytes contained in this memory so kilobytes okay so here they are given as 1024 1 kb is you know 1 kb equal to 1024 bytes right so 960 kb is 960 into 1 kb so you just assign for 1 kb what it is 
So just assign 960 into for 1 KB is 1024, right? So in the place of 1 KB, you just write 1024, that's it. So that is option 3. The next one, the convenient place to store contact information for quick retrieval in email. So in a email, we can store our contact information to retrieve it whenever we need. So that is called as address book. That is not a message box. In a message box, you can see only the inbox. That is you are seeing the messages. The next one, why would BCC be used in an email? BCC means what? First of all, BCC. First, there are three things is there. Okay, two in a mail you can see from to and subject and CCC and BCC. Okay, from means who sent this? Who sent? Okay, two is the address to whom? To whom you are sending? Suppose A is sending a letter to B okay regarding invitation and then CC means I am just informing that A is sending the invitation to B just informing so those persons I am sending as D and E okay for D and D I am just putting as CC for them so D and E I am just informing that is CC if I am inviting the person is coming under 2. If I am just informing that message to D and D, that will become a CC. That is carbon copy. And the next one is BCC. That is blind carbon copy. BCC means blind carbon copy. Okay. So BCC allows the sender of a message to conceal the recipient. If I want F and G, they are, they are not... Uh, F and G, they are enemies, okay, you consider that. So, if I am sending the mail to F, it should not known by G. If I am sending the mail to G, that should not known by F, okay. So, hiding of F and G. So, whatever the list you are giving in a BCC, that is hiding which each other recipient. Only the BCC is like that, okay. Whatever you are presenting in 2 and CCC, which is public, okay. So, public means everyone can see. Whatever you type, whatever the address you have typed in 2 or CCC, that is visible to all the people, okay. But in BCC, it conceals the recipient. For example, here they given that option BCC, it allow the sender of a message to conceal. Conceal means hiding, hiding the recipient. Okay, the, that is the, the F does not know that I send the mail to G. Similarly, G does not know that I send the mail to F. Okay, so hiding the recipient entered in the BCC field from the other recipient. So that is the correct one. BCC is a blind carbon copy which allows the sender of a message to conceal the recipient entered in the BCC field from other recipient. Okay. You just you check it out in your mailbox. Go to the Gmail and work out this and see. Send it to your friends uh, CC and BCC and you can see the difference. So BCC is hiding the recipient enter in the BCC field from other recipient. That's all. The next one. Jatin's laptop as an LCD screen. The acronym for uh, LCD. LCD stands for liquid crystal display. Okay. The expansion is just we have to remember. Which of the following is an example of proprietary system software? Proprietary system software. Proprietary system software. Proprietary means non-free software. Okay. So, some software we are using in a system such as Microsoft Word, Windows, XP and Excel and Calculator and many software we are using. Some softwares we have to give money and we have to buy that software and we have to install. For some software we no need to buy. It is always available in a free. That is called as uh, non-proprietary software. Proprietary software means non-free that is we have to pay the money and non-proprietary system software is that is available in a free manner 
So well, here they are asking which of the following is an example of proprietary system software. Linux, Microsoft in Internet Explorer, Microsoft Office, which is all free. Okay, Microsoft Windows, the, this operating system is a non-free, that is proprietary software. Proprietary software. The next question, with respect to computers, which one of the following best to describe phishing? So phishing is one type of uh, malfunction, okay? So we will see what it is. The first option, a malicious program installed on a system that stays concealed, concealed to avoid detection. We don't know. It is concealed initially. That is called as, we have seen that, Trojan hubs, right? The next one. A, type, uh, a method of bypassing normal authentication process over a connection to a network. Okay, we are, I'm, whenever I am bypassing the normal authentication procedure over a connection, that is called as phishing. The next one, a type of unsolicited bulk email of identical message sent to numerous recipients. If I am sending a bulk message to many of the person, that is called as spam. So it is not phishing. Phishing. The next one, an attempt to acquire sensitive information from a malicious reason by masquerading as a trustworthy entity. So that is called spyware. Right. The next one, a computer network which is used within your building. So within your building, within your institution, that is called as LAN network. Okay. The connection of, uh, okay, the connection of computer within your building or within your uh, institution that is called as LAN. So if you are connecting within cities that is called as MAN within cities. So if I am connecting the computer with the branch of Vellore and branch of Chennai and branch of Delhi that is called as MAN metropolitan area network. If I am connecting a particular uh, website so that is called as van so here they are saying that a computer network which is used within a building within a building which is called as local local area network lan and the next one is san it is not coming under the uh, types of network this is storage area network which is uh, just assigned for uh, server space sets the next one. A dash is a computer program that spreads by inserting copy of itself. I told what it is. Inserting copy of itself into other executable code or document which is called as WARM. So WARM is coming under computer virus. So operating system we have seen that operating system is an interface between the user. And firewall is just protecting. And antivirus is a software which is used to protect from the virus so a computer virus is a computer program that spreads by inserting copies of itself into other executable codes or documents right yes the next one which of the following is not a web browser not a web browser they are asking not a web browser internet explorer mozilla firefox google chrome yahoo so we can say Internet Explorer is a web browser. Mozilla Firefox is a web browser. Google Chrome is a web browser. These three will come under web browser. That is here you can in a down you can see uh, uh, Google Chrome and Internet Explorer. Through this only we are opening our web. Okay. But Yahoo is a search engine. Yahoo and Google, Bing, this and all called search engine. Yahoo, Bing and this will be called as search engine. It is not a web browser. So the question is which of the following is not an web browser? That is Yahoo. The next one. One terabyte of memory is equal to. So first we have to know the memory types. So 8 bits. 8 bits equal to 1 byte. 1024 byte equal to 1 KB. 1024 KB equal to kilobyte, then megabyte, and then 1024 megabyte equal to 1 gigabyte, and then kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, 
then terabyte 1024 gigabyte equal to 1 terabyte then pentabyte and hexabyte and yottabyte zettabyte okay so here you can see 1 terabyte so 1 terabyte the question is 1 terabyte of memory is equal to so this you can write it as 1024 gb okay and then this gb can be written as 1024 mb and this 1024 mb can be written as 1024 into kb so option 3 is the correct answer 1024 into 1024 into 1024 kb so to confuse they are giving in the same way byte and kilobyte so remember so be very careful in this the next one, which one of the following process is the main task for computer in mapping the geographical data? So for geographical data, we need data retrieving and drawing. So geographical data for mapping means we are retrieving and drawing, data retrieving and drawing. The next one, in computer terminology, which of the following describes a device driver? Device driver. So what is device driver? Normally device driver is a software. So here they said that hardware that allow interaction. So initially it is wrong. Hardware that allow. Hardware. It is not a hardware. First of all, device driver is a software. Software that allow the user to control the OS. No, we are not going to control the OS. Software that allow interaction between peripheral devices and the OS. Yes, this is the correct one. Software that allow the user to control the OS. This is also same. So device driver, for example, mouse uh, mouse keyboards and uh, dvd cvd drivers or we are installing right so we are install the device drivers so that the operating system will interact it will do the interaction with that particular peripheral devices yes yes the next one which of the following is not true about ram not true they are asking which of the following is not true about ram okay so ram is on high disk storage yes yes ram is a temporary storage area yes ram is a volatile yes so temporary ram is a volatile yes so it will be erased whenever you turn on information stored in ram is gone when you turn the computer off yes so this is also yes and ram is a temporary storage area yes so temporarily for, for a particular period of time, I will store the data, right? After that, I will remove the data from the RAM and I place the another processor. So RAM is considered as a temporary storage area. So RAM is same as hard disk storage. No, hard disk is, so this one is wrong. They are asking which is not true. So option 2 is the correct answer. Hard disk storage which has the highest memory capacity. But we will purchase the RAM with the minimum memory capacity because it is the cost is high. The RAM cap, uh, the RAM uh, memory is high. So we will purchase only the limited amount. The next one. Most wo worldwide web pages contain commands in the language. So worldwide web pages. Normally web pages contain the commands in which language? HTML. So initially, HTML is the language where it is used to create the web pages. HTML means hypertext markup language. Hypertext markup language. So HTML is used to create the web pages. The next question. Which one of the following would not be considered as a form of secondary storage? They are asking which one is not considered as an, would not be considered as a form of secondary storage. Secondary storage means we can take it from the system outside. Okay, for example, floppy disk, CD and hard drive, we can take outside for, to the system and we can use it for the further also. So floppy disk we can remove, okay, optical disk. So this, uh, these are called secondary storage device. But they are asking which one of the following would not be, would not. We have to observe this not. Okay. So flash drive is also similar like a, another, uh, just like in hard drive. But RAM we cannot remove. This is a primary storage. 
okay so ram is not a secondary storage the next one what does the acronym wan stand wan stands for wan means wide area network that is we are connecting all the data throughout the network or through the internet that is called as wan or wide area network so here the first option is widest area network so wrong wild area network wrong wild area uh, wide area networking that's also wrong wide area network option 4 is the correct one the next one ftp is an acronym for so ftp is a protocol which is used to transfer a file from one place to another place so transfer a file from one place to another place ftp is used so the expansion of ftp is file transfer protocol this is not a transactional or truncation or translation this is file transfer protocol the next one bluetooth is a type of radio wave information transmission system that is good for a boat bluetooth is a, a short wave uh, data transfer wireless technology right so that is uh, that should be within the distance of 30 feet is the correct answer it is not a 30 uh, yard or 30 miles 30 miles means which is a very long distance so 30 feet is the correct answer the next question which of the following statements regarding the term ICT is true ICT is an acronym how stands from indian classical technology no that is information communicational technology ICT stands for information communication technology so option 1 is wrong there information communication technology the second one q statement converging technologies that exemplify ict include the merging of audio video visual telephone and computer networks through a common cabling system yes if i in ict it contains audio visual and telephone and computer network so option statement q is correct statement p is wrong so option 2 q only the next question a new laptop has been produced that weight less is smaller and uses less power than previous laptop model the next question a new laptop has been produced that weights less weight should be less is smaller and uses less power than previous laptop modules which of the following technology has been used to accomplish this the first one universal serial bus mouse this is not an uh, technology and faster ram no blu ray drive is just uh, similar like an hard disk drive so they are using if i want if they are telling that you have to uh, get a laptop which should be weight should be less and the power should be utilized less when you are compared with the previous laptop models so what i have to use this i have to use solid state hard drive solid state hard drive which is a powerful fast in memory and uh, fast access so i have to use this technology solid state hard drive within the laptop to the new model so that i can access it i can accomplish this the next one given the following email fill which of the email address will swami to able to see when he receives message so swami is written in an bcc okay so uh, swami can see so i already told that uh, to and ccc is public this will be viewed by everyone so whatever you return in the whatever the address which is given in a bcc this is hiding okay hide so uh, so swami can see ram ram raj and ravi ram raj and ravi this is visible to swami but rama is not visible to swami because this person is written as an blind carbon copy bcc so option 2 is the correct answer so whatever you are typed in the address which is uh, displayed in the public then it is acts it is viewed by everyone but in a blind carbon copy it is not able to see that is hidden so the next one 
put the following unit of storage units into the correct order starting with the smallest unit first and going down to the largest unit so first we have to uh, small to large so first is bit okay that is we just write it down because sometimes it will confused okay so bit and the next one is byte byte is option b the next one is kilobyte f comma b comma a kilobyte megabyte the next one is c the next one is megabyte gigabyte then e so f b a c e so then next automatically it will be d right so f b a c e d is in present in the option number three the next question with regard to computer memory which one of the following statement is true read only memory is a volatile memory no rom is a non volatile memory right non volatile means which cannot be erased which cannot be erased so option p is wrong random access memory is a volatile memory yes true secondary memory is volatile no it is non volatile so option q only that is present in 2 the next one which of the following domain is used for profit business okay profit business they are telling profit business there is non profit business is the day so there are so many domains are there the first one is dot net dot net indicates some network okay and then if the website is entered with edu domain that belongs to educational domain okay for example anna university dot edu so that anna university belongs to the educational educational related process okay uno unom dot edu so university of madras which is related to educational okay so this domain indicates what type of that website and the next one is commercial dot com is a commercial network for some business profitable business okay from so amazon.com and uh, amazon and many more websites will come and uh, dot com okay the next one is dot org which is a non profit business non profit business that is ngos the charity people charity websites so that will be coming under org they are asked which of the following domain used for profit business so profit business is dot com the next one the data storage hierarchy consist of so the first one is bit okay we have already seen bit byte and byte consisting of fields fields consisting of record okay serial number is a field okay name is a field and phone is a field so this consisting of field this particular person suppose one a a her phone number is this something 99 so this is called as record so first one is bit then byte then field this con collection of fields are called as record this collection of record is called as files this collection of files is called as database so the first one bit so we can see bit byte fields and then record so you should remove this option 3 okay so bytes won't come and then here record won't come initially so option 1 is the correct bit byte fields records the collection of record is called as file the collection of file is called as database the next question what is the full form of usb as used in computer related activity so usb is a universal serial bus this expansion of usb is used for universal serial bus this is used to connect your using usb only you can connect your uh, mouse or you can connect your pen drive that is called as usb universal serial bus the next question what is the name of a web page address web page address okay so it is not a directory protocol is protocol is a set of instruction to particular to perform a task url is uniform resource locator uniform resource locator that is 
you are giving some web page address the full web page address is called as url and domain will come under a part of url so if you compare this three sorry compare this three and four three is the exact answer for example www.amazon.com so this is some url okay so here this is a domain dot com dot edu they don't know so domain is a part of url that is not a full web page address so url is an exact answer domain is a part of url url means uniform resource locator the next question which of the following represent billion characters million characters you remember this uh, megabyte is million characters okay million characters and the gigabyte is billion characters so this is also an frequent question megabyte gigabyte so gigabyte is the correct answer the next one read the following two statements information and communication technology is considered a subset of it so they are telling that ict is the subset subset means this will come under this it this is this right is this right no it is coming under the subset of ict okay it should be it is wrong okay it is the subset of ict this is right this is wrong okay so option 1 statement 1 is wrong statement 2 the right to use a piece of software is termed as copyright which of the above statement is correct the right to use no when, when they are say, telling that copyright means so you should not uh, there is no rights to use okay we should not use not use that particular document uh, to copy or uh, to copyright to uh, another place or to share the your uh, uh, share the username or password so that is called as uh, copyright issue right so you should not uh, this is also a wrong statement here they are telling we can use that copyright so we should not use that copyright when the particular software is mentioned as copyright uh, then you should not copy the software from one place to another place then it is called as an copyright issue okay for example if you are you are seeing this um, uh, you are seeing this studying this uh, studying this class you should not share this username and id password to another place so that is an copyright issue so neither one nor two neither means not so statement 1 is also wrong and statement 2 is also wrong the next one which of the following correctly list computer memory types from highest to lowest speed first they are asking highest highest is highest memory is cpu register so remove this option 1 and 4 cpu register and cache memory is the second highest and then ram and then secondary memory so option 3 is the correct answer the next question which of the following statement is true the decimal number 11 is larger than hexadecimal number 11 just we'll check it out hexadecimal number 11 that is the actual value is in a decimal if you convert this 1 into 16 power 0 1 into 16 power 1 that is equal to 1 16 that is 17 so 11 is larger than 17 no so statement 1 is wrong the next one in the binary 111101 the fractional part as the decimal value as 0.625 so point 101 this is a binary value if you want to convert this into a decimal you just multiply into this part into so to convert uh, this fractional part dot 101 uh, into decimal so what i have to do so normally we are doing uh, the whole part is 6 uh, 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 then this fractional part will come under into 2 power minus 1 then 0 into 2 power minus 2 okay just a minute if you are not clear i will explain again uh, 
and uh, okay this so it's nothing it's very easy only dot one zero one okay so here it will come one into two power minus one and zero into two power minus two and here one into two power minus three okay and uh, so now you multiply and add this okay now you multiply one day one into two power minus one that is one divided by uh, two that is zero point five here zero into any number zero here one divided by eight is zero point one two five so the answer is zero point six two five this is a correct s2 is correct so s2 only the next question with regard to your word processing software, the process of combining static information in a publication together with variable information in a data source to create one merged publication is called. So in a word processing, whenever I am typing one letter, I wish to send the same letter to many process, many, uh, many uh, recipient or many address. That is called as, the process is called as mail merge process. It is not an email. Email is just sending your mail. It is data sourcing also not spam is uh, the unsolicited messages. Uh, so much of um, advertisement that is called as a spam mail. So mail merge is a process. You are created uh, for one process and then the same thing will be uh, given to the many recipients. The next one. DVD technology uses an optical media to store the digital data. DVD is a cranium for. So, DVD is digital versatile disk. So, option 3 is the correct answer. So, that is a, just a full form. We have to remember that. Digital versatile disk. The next one. The statement, the study, design, development, implementation, support or management of computer based information system. Particularly software application and computer hardware referred to uh they are not giving information communication this is a collaborative technology so this is wrong data technology wrong artificial intelligence that is also wrong so which is the correct answer information technology so when i am designing or doing uh, developing a particular software and then implementing supporting so people are working in it field they are telling right so in the same way it is coming under it information technology which where you are studying about the how to design a software and developing a software or implementing or what are the support you are giving to the people uh, through hardware or software that will be called as refers to IT information technology the next question if the binary equivalent of a decimal number okay this is not an exact equivalent but they are telling that if a binary equivalent of a decimal number 48 is this, then the binary equivalent of the decimal number 51 is. So what is the value for 3 in a binary? So 1, 2, sir, 2, reminder 1. So for 3, it is 1, 1, right? You have to just add 48 plus 3. So this is 48, right? So 3, 3 is 1, 1. Just you adding this, you come 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 right so option one is the correct answer the next one the process of copying files to a cd rom so when i am copying some files to a cd rom that is known as burning burning process okay that is not zipping zipping means you are just compressing the file and send to the mail digitizing means you are converting into digital ripping means you are copying file from cd to hard disk Okay, copy files from secondary to CD to hard disk that is called as ripping. The next one, an unsolicited email message sent to many recipients at once. Okay, so unsolicited email message sent to many re recipients at once is called as spam. Okay, so many, many recipients at once, immediately I am sending to the hundred of uh, messages, hundred of mails, okay, that is spam for advertising purpose, uh, they are sending uh, mails, right, that is called as spam. The next one, 
Dash is a type of memory circuitry that holds the computer startup routine. So whenever you are starting the computer, uh, which memory, which memory circuit is uh, opened? Okay, that is some messages are coming when you are uh, start up your computer, right? That messages or uh, we cannot change that messages, right? Because that is stored in ROM. Okay, that is stored in a ROM read only memory. Startup memories, uh, startup memory routines, which is available in room. We cannot erase it. We cannot erase or change it. <coughs> we cannot erase or change. <coughs> the next one. An ASCII is a character encoding scheme that is employed by personal computer in order to represent various characters, numbers, and control keys. Mind the computer user select on the keyboard. ASCII is an acronym for first of all you have to know what is ASCII. ASCII is a sum code which is given to each and every key which is present on the keyboard. Okay, so if you are pressing 1 to 9 or if you are pressing from A to Z or you have some control keys or some num lock keys, whatever the key you are pressing for each and every key, some value is assigned. Okay, that is called as ASCII, which is assigned by the, which is already uh, predetermined, pre-installed like that. Okay, so that is called as ASCII code. This ASCII code is uh, assigned by Americans, right? So, uh, the, uh, the expansion for uh, ASCII is American Standard Code for Information interchange so you can see this option one american standard code for information interchange is the right answer the next question nme ict stands for nme ict means national mission on education through ICT, through information communication technology, we are transferring our education. So uh, now also I am uh, teaching through online, right? So this is our purpose of uh, education. We are using this ICT for the educational purpose. So national mission on education through ICT, NME ICT stands for that. The next one, which of the following is an instant message application? Instantly, we are sending some messages to one person into another person. What are they? WhatsApp, we are using WhatsApp and Google Talk and Viber. So, all the above. Option D is all the above. Okay. So, option D is the correct one. So, oh, everything is, a, oh, here it is there. Okay, right, sorry. So, in an option 4, you can able to see that A, B and C. Okay. The next. In a computer, a byte generally consists of. A byte is 8 bits. Byte will be considered as an 8 bits. So, option 2 is the correct answer. The next one. Which of the following is not an input device? Input devices, you are giving input to the computer. So, microphone is an input device. Keyboard, you are pressing the key. That is also an input device. Joystick, you are giving the input device. But normally monitor is an output device. You are seeing the output from the monitor. So monitor is not an input device. The question they are asking is, which of the following is not an input device? Okay. The next one. Which of the following is an open source software? So open source software, which is already told, open source software is free freeware or we can uh, we can say that we can freely download upon that particular software okay ms word and windows acrobat reader this and all not free okay that uh, that uh, that software so called proprietary software mozilla firefox is called as open source software the next question which of the following enables us to send the same letter to different persons just already we have seen same letter to different persons that concept is called as mail merge.